I have bad news for you. It's here. We're going down big time this year. I'm predicting the biggest crash January 2023. No, that means firefighters, school teachers, public servants, they're all toast. They're all like my poor dad. They're going to find out the government screwed them. Are you seeing signs of inflation beginning to increase? We're seeing very substantial inflation. It's very interesting. We're raising prices. People are raising prices to us. It's being accepted. I mean, it's not, you know, take home building. The costs are just up, up, up. Steel costs just every day. Uh, they're, they're going up. People are talking about inflation. I think we're in depression right now. And we're going to be the biggest depression in world history. They trusted their pension would be there and it's going to go bust. Hey friend, welcome to my channel, Karina Lude Mental Gems. This channel is dedicated to leveling up in all areas of your life. So let us read together, learn together, but most importantly, grow together. With everything that's been going on in 2023, I was reading an article from Forbes and watching videos, and you know, I'm all up deep into the finance world, and I keep hearing the same thing over and over again. We are about to have a recession that will be worse than the Great Depression. And if any of you guys are familiar with the Great Depression, it was a global event. Everyone was suffering and that happened right before World War II. So it was really, really bad. People in most parts of the country were taking money and burning it to stay warm because that's how low the value of money was. That sounds scary, right? Something like this could happen in 2023. But yes, many people today are not prepared. They're not prepared at all. And the worst thing you can be in the onset of a depression is not be prepared. I know there's many that are not aware because of the price of eggs going up and the price of milk <laughs> is going up. Even the housing market, I know the recession is happening because just in Florida, because we had so many people from New York move down here, the cost of to buy a house just skyrocketed. Houses that were only worth like 200,000 were now being sold for 650, 750. It was ridiculous, but now, Every time I check on houses, there's price cuts of up to $400,000. This is a major sign that we are about to enter a recession and no one is talking about it. So this video, I have eight urgent ways for you to prepare for this upcoming recession that you need to work on right away. Number one is create an emergency fund. Put aside money into an emergency fund in case of job loss or other financial issues that may arise during a recession. Aim to have enough money to cover basic living expenses for at least three months minimum, but ideally sure to open a separate account with a you know good financial institution and avoid using any funds intended for short-term investment. I would say three months, but if you can do six months, up to six months, and if you have a better, higher paying job, do up to a year. Me, to feel safe, I have to have enough funds for a year and a half, because <laughs> you don't know, you may lose your job and it may be hard to find one within three months. You may need more than three months to find one. And I know most people, if you're working like a minimum wage job and you're like, Kareen, it's difficult for me to have an emergency fund with my income. It's hard to put money aside. Even if it's five to 10 bucks, have something aside that you just don't touch at all, no matter what, not for a new pair of shoes, nothing like that. You just don't touch in case because many people will lose their job when employers cannot afford to keep them. There'll be a lot of layoffs and cuts and this is why we see a lot of people lose their minds. So be sure to have up to at least three months, but to be safe up to a year. Just put away five to 10 bucks a week, a hundred if you can a week. And if you have a little bit more, put up to a thousand away. Just make sure you have your rent, water, your basic living expenses covered for at least three months. It's tax season. So if you live in America, you know you're about to get a refund, save that refund. Don't use it to do anything. And if you pay taxes during tax season, and if you know you always owe taxes and have to pay back, then set up a payment plan instead of trying to pay everything all at once. Cause I know people that don't like to see debt, but don't take all your money and throw it into just your debt. Kind of manage it on a month to month basis. Okay. Number two is pay down debt. Pay off as much debt as possible before a recession hits, especially high interest credit cards and personal loans because they can add up quickly if not managed properly. If able, consider cutting back on extra spending and using any extra funds towards debt reduction. Try to avoid using your credit cards around this time unless it's absolutely necessary. If it's not, cut it off. You do not need to use it. Use cash for everything and try to lower your payment as much as possible because in a recession, those interest rates will go up and 
it can get it can all pile up and cause even more stress and the harassment will not be good for your mental health so limit that and try to pay off as much as possible number three is build up your skill set look into how you can further develop your skill set so that you are well positioned for when the economy does eventually recover from the recession consider taking online courses attending seminars workshops or even reaching out to industry professionals in your field of interest who may provide useful advice that could better prepare you for future employment opportunities learn a new language even all of those things make you more marketable because even in my first corporate job it helped me that I was multilingual that I spoke multiple languages it helped me and it gives you an advantage over everyone else that does come to apply where you can speak French you can speak Creole English or Spanish understand it and you know it, it helps so even learning a language don't neglect things like that learning how to use PowerPoint if you're not too well with Excel computers because everything is more tech now so try to polish your tech skills and those skills don't just see what's the point if jobs are there are a lot of people that do lose everything during a recession but there are a lot of people that thrive during a recession and those people that thrive during a recession are people that was well prepared for it people that polished their skill set that had money saved number four is network build up relationships with those in your network family friends colleagues etc so that you have resources available if needed during tough times such as a recession period when jobs may be limited or salaries reduced due to economic downturns networking also allows you to stay informed of potential job openings or government aid available which could come in handy if your situation becomes you know dire and networking is not just with professionals but with your friends even in the hood and object poverty someone will be hey this church is giving free turkeys or free chicken or this that just from word of mouth you just heard about that but you wouldn't hear about it if you didn't network or made friends and find out what you know so in this time don't just try to network with professionals but also network with your community or family you never know you might need someone's house to crash in you might need a roommate because things get really bad so put yourself out there and don't neglect that kind of network also network in all areas of your life professionally socially mentally and spiritually also because you might need a support system prayer partners because a lot of people lose their minds during recessions and it can get really dark so make sure you have a support system around you that will be there for you number five is take care of yourself mentally mental health is just as important as physical health during a recession so ensure that you continue taking care of yourself throughout the turbulent times because often we hear someone jumping off a ledge or taking their lives and their own kids lives because they cannot see hope or for the future they don't know what they're going to do so they think the only way to end it all that happens a lot during a recession so it's key to take care of your mental health eat healthy meals exercise regularly and get sufficient rest each night this will help maintain productivity levels should unexpected job loss you know be suffered while you're also keeping your stress manageable during difficult times ahead additionally consider attending therapy sessions if necessary and if you don't have the funds talk to a friend you can trust talk through options openly with professionals also who understand what you're going through psychologically and emotionally during tough financial times like these which could improve beneficial in both the short and long term when dealing with financial issues associated with recessions a lot of people think therapists are just there to talk about trauma etc no finance is a big stressor on people and a lot of people leave this earth too soon because of it so do not be afraid to talk to a professional about your fears that your finances are not getting things in order and learn coping mechanisms that you could still be here with us because one thing that i know is what goes up must come down okay every recession doesn't last forever okay no recession lasts forever things do turn around things do get better so learn how to cope to hang in there so that you can come out successful when things do start to get better number six is consider downsizing your lifestyle this may mean cutting back on spending or selling some possessions such as cars or other expensive items that don't provide much value during a recession period doing this will help reduce debt build savings and give you more flexibility when it comes to finances let go of some clothes some shoes you can sell online I know people I see this online often that will sell a table pieces of furniture just put it on their story hey I'm selling this if you want blah 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 blah. or this shoes I only wore once if you want so start to do those little things and collect those coins and put it in your emergency fund okay downsize going out to eat all the time buying new pairs you know retail therapy 
food that aren't necessary. So buy more water, start to stock up on water, toilet papers, necessities that may increase over time that are non-perishables. Like start to stock up that you have in excess before things start to happen. Cut off extra expenses on things that don't matter. Ladies, I know self-care is a must, <laughs> but we can downsize by learning to do our own nails, learning to do our own hair, learning to do certain things for ourselves that we don't have to pay somebody for, right? Fellas, learn to fix your car yourself. There's YouTube University here, changing your transmission, tires, and things like that. You don't have to go pay somebody to do certain things that you can downsize and save that money because those are huge expenses. Fixing cars are huge expenses. And if you can learn to do it yourself or you know like that's where networking come from, you have a friend that knows how to do this, you can just have them do it real quick for you and you can save a little buck. Number seven, stay informed. Recessions often occur unexpectedly, resulting in panic and confusion across markets and individuals you know everybody lose their minds however staying informed about current economic trends can lessen their impact on you personally by helping you spot signs early on and plan accordingly so being financially literate staying informed will also allow you to better participate in conversations surrounding the economy without getting caught off guard when news breaks about shifts in markets or industries related directly or indirectly to yours both critical pieces which could affect your own career path regardless of where you stand right now financially speaking the more you know we're only afraid of what we don't understand and what we don't know so even you watching this video this is you informing yourself but don't just stop here go read certain books on this watch videos on what to expect what to do and when this things will start to happen what month projections like i i know a few projections of when things might start to be bad you know this year <laughs> and so you kind of prepared then it don't hit you all at once i've already been preparing since 2020 for this recession i just knew it would happen pretty soon and we did the best that we could to hold on but i don't think there's much more globally people can do because the lockdowns was really intense so you know it's going to happen you prepare for the price of eggs and all of these things so the more prepared you are the more you know the less panicked you are because you've already started preparing early on for this you can sort of catch the trends before things start to happen. And lastly, number eight is diversify your investments. When investing during uncertain times like those ahead of us, it's important not to put all your eggs in one basket by investing only in stocks or bonds. Instead, diversify your portfolio across different asset types such as real estate, commodities, and alternative investments. These things can help protect against losses. In many cases, during a recession, it may be a good time to move too. Most people, if they lose everything here, you have to relocate where there's better opportunities. Not all states will feel a recession equally, right? So it might be worse for a state like a California or New York. The bigger the state, the bigger the city, the worse you will feel the impact of a recession, the more crowded it is, right? Resources will be limited. There'll be more crimes. There'll be more mental depression. Certain countries don't feel a global recession as bad as other countries. Invest in potential countries that you might consider yourself to move to open your horizons and, and think further than that okay so in conclusion following these eight steps will help you to feel a little bit less pressure and it will reassure you that both your mental health and financial stability remains intact throughout this upcoming economic downturn however please note that no matter how much preparation you do there is no guaranteed safety you can never really fully be a hundred percent bulletproof during a recession keep that in mind stay on your toes stay vigilant stay up to date follow these steps because it's better to be prepared than to not be prepared at all i love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in please like comment subscribe and share with a friend who needs this asap don't keep this to yourself share with your family members your friends and also if you like the music you're listening to the link is in the description i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in until next time